Now, whether you uh, want to keep your pet fit, keep them entertained uh, while you're at work, or just keep tabs on them and see where it is they're going or what it is they're doing during the day, this morning we've got a great selection of pet gadgets for you. And of course, who better to do that than the... The gadget dog! I was trying to think of words to describe the outfit, but they failed me in this instance. It's very warm, that's Colin, what it is. Oh, the only thing I will say is, is that at least you're not wearing those boxer shorts. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Anything could be... Uh, this is an old body... It could be worse, I think, suit. is the right phrase. Did, uh, did Goofy mind you borrowing it, no? No, no, Goofy's fine with it. Yeah, we're oh, good okay, friends. Brad. And by the way, we do have a proper dog here. This is Loxie. This is the... Um, the catcher dog. This is my dog. This is the Baker family dog, yeah, is it? Right, and she's yeah. beautiful. She's four. She's four. She's, she's a cabochon. A cabochon, which is a cross between a cavalier and a... And a bichon, bichon yeah. Bichon yeah. frieze. She's gorgeous. And she's really... She's been sat here for ten minutes, and she's so good. She's remarkably well trained. Unlike you, it has to be. That said. is but true. There yeah. you go. Yeah, but right, let's does. start with um, item number one, which is the Kippy Vita Pet Finder. This is really, really clever, and it's about the smallest tracking device I've ever seen. Um, this is, you know, Lox is actually wearing it on her collar. I don't know if you can see that, but it's quite small, neat, doesn't bother Loxy at all. I've only put it on this morning. It's very, very light, and what it does is it sets up in about five minutes, links to your smartphone, and tells you exactly where your pet is at all times. Now, not only that, but at the end of the day, you can see the level of activity throughout the day if the dog is on a, maybe a training regime like a step or an exercise. Or something, yeah. yeah, pretty much like a train. A, 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 a um, pedometer. I suppose, what do they call it? An activity tracker for dogs. You can also set a digital boundary on your phone. So you can set on the map around your house a sort of a digital fence. Oh, right. And if the dog goes beyond that digital virtual fence, you get, uh, you get a notification on your phone and then you can see exactly where. So very, very handy and very safe. There's lots of uh, like dog nappings and the likes. And dogs, obviously, dogs and cats just venturing off. Well, so of this is a great way of keeping tabs Especially on with the boutique um, uh, breeds now, they're uh, extremely they're valuable. expensive yeah, and valuable. Yeah, yeah, right. exactly. How much is this cost? So this will keep Loxy safe. These are 199 euro. Ouch. Yeah. Well, mind you, we, we we spend that kind of money on our pets. In some ways, we, we wouldn't quite... We all would the time. Quite, yeah. All the time. Trust me. I know. Okay. <laughs> uh, you can find more about that on a website called kippy.eu. K-I-P-P-Y. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Really handy device. Let's move to the... Uh, this is the Fubler Treat Ball. This, I was really impressed with this, actually. So was Loxy. Um, she's not interested right now because you fed her loads of treats there beforehand. <laughs> but what it does is there's three compartments. In fact, in this one, there's six compartments for treats. Okay. And there's a timer. And you can set that timer for 30, 60 or 90 minutes. After that period, it beeps, opens a little hatch and releases the treats. So if we can make it activate now, and what it does is, oh, and in order to release Loxie the nose. and she has to nose it around and the treats come out. There's a little treat for you, Loxie. There you go. Oh, there you go. And she can nose it around and play with it, and the treats come out. And she'll hear that no matter where she's left it in the house. You know? So three compartments uh, for treats and food. In this case, that's yeah. six in that one. Timed intervals of 30, 60, or 90 minutes for treat release. Mm. Chimes with each feeding time. Yeah, as and you can set it yourself. How yeah, much? really handy. I think it's 39. You're yeah, 39, 40 euro. Okay. So yeah. very, very good value. Battery lasts months, as far as I can see, and really, really robust. So and you can break. find out more about that at Nature Nurture Pet In Store. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Dot com. Right. Yeah. Number three, all for paws hyperfetch tennis machine. Now, Loxy's is a little bit scared of this one because Why? my brother actually put uh, put a tennis ball in, and Loxy was standing on this side, and the tennis ball hit her in the face. But it's very gentle now. She didn't get hurt or anything, but she just doesn't like it. But I think a lot of dogs well, it's would. Sudden. What it does is the Starts. dog drops the tennis ball into the top of it. Now it has to be plugged in, and we can't plug it in here. But so, and oh, I don't so want the, to scare oh, Loxie so anyway. The dog actually drops it oh, in the top, good, okay. so it's great for the lazy the pet owner, maybe, or the tired pet owner, goes into or the, this, the pet owner whose pet just wants to there. play fetch for three hours a day. And then I'm assuming it fires it, it, it out. It fires it out that side at different rates each time, so it flings it around the room. They are small and light, and they won't injure anybody. Um, they might scare, <laughs> as they, they, they scared Loxie before, so she's not into that machine, but I think a lot of, a lot uh, of dogs no, Do you need, uh, does it take batteries? Um, no, it, actually it does, but it takes about 300 million C-sized Duracells, so there's actually a plug adapter for it, and I haven't uh, I So this is more for indoors today. or for somewhere close to the house? Or, yeah, or, or in an enclosed back garden, right, okay. you know. Certainly very handy for the, the active dog that wants to, right. wants to play fetch. Uh, how much? Uh, these are about 125 euro or so. And again, naturenurturepetstore.com. Mm -hmm. Right, now, yeah. the Trixie Memory Trainer. Well, this, she kind of likes this one. She does like this, this one. This is very clever. Um, what it actually is, it, it trains memory. It's got the same type of treat release mechanism in here. So it's basically you, a dispenser for, for yes, treats. Right. But 
to activate the treat drawer, to, act, to literally get it to, to shoot out, you press this button. And you'll notice that this is actually wireless. And what you do is, that'll go anywhere in the house, and you can move it around as a game, a memory training game for the dog. So wherever you put that, the dog gets to know, well, he knows it down on that button, and he runs back into the other room and picks up the treats. Well, mind you, a smart dog will cop on fairly quickly. So and then you move it again, we'll and you hide it somewhere else. But they'll be hitting the button all the time, so... That's true, but well, I suppose you have to keep on moving it. And there's only so much in here. <laughs> right, As okay. Loxie has discovered a few times. So, a dispenser, a dog hits the remote drawer, opens, remote button can be lo located anywhere in the, exactly. in the house. Yeah, or yeah, yeah. Outside, yeah. And you can actually vary the amount of treats. It gave, gave it loads here. Look, she's looking at them here. Now, Come this on, is actually on, used by professional trainers as well, Yes, apparently it? so, yeah. Okay, yeah. and... Uh, by the way, these are all Pete blessed, I think, because I, I, I rang Pete before this, because I didn't... The, I always feed her the wrong things. Weather burn household of approval, do Completely, they? Oh, because I kind of trust him for all that, and I often feed Loxie stupid things, like Mars bar and things and okay. I, I get in trouble for it. Uh, 75 euro and you can find out more about that at naturenurturepetstore.com. Well, yeah. Right, um, now... This is this very is interesting. This is the uh, IP video chat camera. Mm. And I use this all the time. Now, it's not just for, well, for pets. It's dog. actually for... You know, I actually do. Well, actually, to keep tabs on her in the house. If I go out for a couple of hours and okay. maybe the alarm goes right, off or something like that. Let's be serious. What it does is what? It's a wireless IP internet camera. You locate that in your house and you can see what that sees from your smartphone anywhere in the world. But not only can you see, you can move the lens around. So you can actually look around the room. Not only that but you can talk through it as well. So there's two-way voice comms on it. Okay. So it, it hears what's going on around, and you can talk through it. There's a little speaker on it as well. So it's like a chat cam. So you can actually go, Hey, Loxie, what's going on? Are you OK? See, she's hey, all guys. distracted. Hey, well, listen, to mind it for the dog. You can keep it for the kids. Oh, very very I'm handy for all. You. Yeah, yeah, there you go. <laughs> I can see where you're going Easy with that. Easy to set up. Chat live. Uh, night, also has night vision. Yes, exactly. Yeah, so you can check it out can. at night when, when you can't normally see. And by the way, I thought this would probably be the most expensive thing of all. It's yeah. 99 euro. Yeah, so it's and, not expensive. Uh, people can go to your website, which is back from the future. Yes, yeah, 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 we have them on there. There mm. you go, Colin. Listen, thank you very much. Loxie, it was lovely to meet you. Okay. She's really enjoyed this. She's so happy. <laughs> okay, well, we've had yeah, one last of fashion this morning, and we're going to have another one, but <laughs> possibly well stuff that you might actually be interested in wearing rather than a dog costume. <laughs> See you back in a few moments. <laughs>